I come to praise God. I come to worship Him. God, hallelujah, glory to God. But we serve a great big God, and no matter what we're facing, God, and God, God has a way. Hallelujah, glory to God, and I'm excited about what God's doing here in this house. Hallelujah, glory to God. I can't wait to see what He's going to do. Glory to God. But then in the meantime, I'm going to keep praising Him, and keep worshiping, and continue to do the things that He asked me to do. Trust in Him with all of our hearts, lean not to our own understanding. Let God be God and go to God. Everything else will take care of us. Are you ready for the word tonight? Oh, my God, come on. Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I was uh, praying this week asking the Lord what he wanted me to bring because I don't like to just bring anything. I want to bring what he wants me to bring because he knows what's needed. Because he, uh, he knows every heart. He knows every life. He knows who's going to be here and he knows who's not going to be here. Come on. He knows uh, who's going to listen and who's not. Come on. Uh, because God's on the throne and he rules and he reigns. I know. I'm his vessel and I'm his child and I'm going to do what he wants me to do. The best Come on. Amen. 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 All right, I'm going to be coming from Luke chapter 18 tonight. I'm going to read one verse, but I'm going to do the first eight verses. But I'm just going to read the very first one, and I want you to extend your hand this way and pray for me, please. I'm sorry, Luke what? Luke chapter 18, verse 1. <coughs> and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Come on. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come before you, we thank you, Lord, for the privilege of being able to share who you are. Lord, we're asking you to move in this service, God, in a mighty way. I'm asking you, Father, for your anointing, because I can do nothing on my own. I don't want to do anything on my own. I need you, God. I need you to touch me. I need you, oh God, tonight. More than I've ever needed you before, I need you now. And Lord, I'm asking God that you would touch our ears. That we might hear and touch our hearts. That we might receive exactly what you have for us tonight. We'll give you the honor and the glory and the praise for it. In the name of Jesus, amen. Uh, if I titled this message it, tonight, it would be Persistent in Prayer. Come on. Because we, if there ever was a time that we needed to be persistent in prayer, it is a day and an hour amen. that we're living in. Come on, man. And I'm going to take my time tonight and uh, because I really want to bring this out the way that God has given it to me. Come on. The very first verse he said, and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray Come on. and not to faint. Come on, man. Men ought to always to pray. Yeah. Uh, that word ought means moral obligation or duty. Come on. Uh, I've got uh, something I want to share with you. It's always important. Or it is to me. I love looking up definitions of words because I want to know what he's saying. Okay. Come on. And it's very important because sometimes we just read and we think we know. Yeah. But then God, if we look and we study, we'll find out he's saying a yeah. little bit more than yeah. what we're actually thinking that he's saying. Come on. Yeah. But that word ought always to pray, that word ought means moral obligation. It means <coughs> duty. Come on. Always means at all times, Come on, on all occasions. Come on. It doesn't matter if you're up or you're down, whether you feel good or you don't feel good, what's going on or what's not going on. It means at every occasion Come in on. your life, yeah, yeah. you need to pray. Come on, sir. 
You need to talk to the Father. Come on. You need that communication with Him. Come on. Not with everybody else. We take it to everybody Come else on. sometimes, but take it to Him. Come on, man. We ought to always to pray. It's our duty to pray. If it wasn't important for us to pray, Jesus would not have gotten by himself a lot of times to pray. Come on. He got by himself a lot to pray. Yes, he did. Because why? He wanted to hear what the Father had Come on, man. He wanted to know the steps that he needed to take. Come on, sir. He needed to know the words that needed to be spoken and which direction he needed to go in. Come on. Jesus didn't just come down here and just do his thing. He came down here to do the Father's will. Come on, man. Because he loved the Father. He wanted to do his will. So therefore he got alone and he prayed yeah. and he talked to the Father and the Father talked to him. Yes, he did. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Come on. In 1 John 5 and verse 14 and 15, this is what he says. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Come on. That if we ask anything according to his will, Come on. he heareth us. Come on. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire yes. of him. Come on. Now, I, I want you to understand uh, this one part of this, well, I love it, but this part. We ask anything according to his will. Yeah. Not ours. Come on. Not our feelings, uh -huh. not our emotions, not what we want, but we pray for his will to be done. Come on, God. It's according to his will. Amen. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Come on. Who in here wants him to hear you? Oh, come on. I do. So I'm going to pray and I'm going to ask any, according to his will. Come on. What is his will? The word of God. Come on. We'll find exactly who he is in the word of God. We Come find on. it nowhere else. In Philippians 4, 6, and 7, and I love this. He says, be careful or anxious for nothing. Yeah. But in everything, everything. That doesn't leave anything out, does Come it? On, everything. Yeah. By prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known before God. Come on. And the God of peace, which surpasses all understanding, yeah. shall guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Come on, man. So everything, everything, the peace of God, which passes all under, it will guard your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. Come on. So we need to cry out to him with everything that's going on. Don't be anxious. Don't be excited over stuff that's going on. Take it before the throne come of God. Take it to Him. Amen. He said, don't be anxious for anything. Come to me with it. Amen. Come, come on. to me. I care about you. He loves us. Come he on. knows what's going on in our hearts and in our lives. Come on. I've got news for you because you see people smiling and going on doesn't mean that they're not battling. Come on. Come on. They're down inside. They're battling. They're crying out to God. They're wanting Him to move. He said, I don't want you to be anxious for anything. I want you to come to me with it. Come on. And He'll take care of it. He's going to take care of it in His way. He's going to take care of it in His time. Come on, man. He's going to take care of you. Be rest assured of that. He is going to give you the peace that you need. He'll keep your mind. He'll keep your heart. Come on. In Him, He'll keep it. Come on. Glory to God. The enemy wants to destroy it. Come on. But God's going to keep it. Come on. He promised us that. What he promises us, he's going to stand by. Yes, he and is. Every word of this of the living God is true. Yes. Everything that he has spoken yes. is true. Come on. He's not going to change, and I'm glad that he's not. Yes. He will not change everything. You can count on what he says. Yes. Amen. Come on. Amen. He said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Come on. That fight not to faint means don't lose heart. Come on. Ooh, 
don't lose heart. Come on. Just because you've been praying and you've been praying a long time. You've not got your answer yet. Oh, You've yeah. not heard from him yet. Oh. You don't know. You just you're oh. praying and you're seeking and you're praying and you're seeking and oh. you still haven't heard oh. anything. Don't lose heart. Come on, man. He said, I don't want you to lose heart. I don't want you to get discouraged. Come on. Man. I don't want you to. I want to read to you, if I can, what Dave states about this because it's very important. Do not give in to doubt. Come on. Just because you've not heard an answer, don't give in to doubt. Don't give in to fear. Come on. Don't give in to unbelief. Come on, man. Don't give in to discouragement. Come on. Or use excuses for unbelief. Come on. When prayer is not answered immediately, rebuke and resist all opposition to the yes. answer. Come on, man. All suggestions of favor. Rebuke it when the enemy will come at you and say, huh, he's not listening to you. Uh, this is the way that it's always going to be. Don't You need to look for change. He's a liar. Because God said, I can have all things. Verses 2 through 5 on this, and then we're going to expound on it. 
saying there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but after a while, afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continued coming she weary me. Now, I love it. In this parable, we see there was a judge, and he was a judge that did not fear God. He had no respect for man. He didn't care about man. He was just a judge. He just spoke words, and that was it. Yes. And in this city, there was a widow. She was a desperate widow. She was desperate. She needed help. Come on. She needed help. She kept coming to him time and time again till he finally got tired and got weary with her and so he did exactly what she asked for him to do. Amen. Amen. She troubled him. She annoyed him. He finally gave in and he gave her what she desired. She was persistent. Come on. She was persistent in her need and what she needed. This, to persist means to continue. She came to him continually. Yes, Come on, man. Continually. And that man, persistent means to be constant. It means to keep <coughs> pressing forward. Right. Yeah. Pressing in, pressing forward. To persist means to never stop. Oh, wow. So yeah, her continual persistence was the secret of her success. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the way that God gave us this parable. He gave us an example of what we need to do. Come on. Amen. We need to be persistent. Amen. He gave us this parable as an example to let us know <coughs> how, how to come before him. Come on. How to ask, and that means continually. Yeah. Don't stop. Right. Don't give up and don't give in. Right. She was persistent. Come on. She kept coming and coming and coming day in and day out. And can I give you a little bit of advice? If you've got a problem or if you've got a situation going on in your life, keep going before the throne Come on. of God. Amen. Keep taking it before Him. Yes. Talk to Him about it every single day. Do you think that there's a day that I don't call out to God on behalf of my children that are lost and Come on. ask Him to have mercy upon them? Come on, man. Ask Him to keep them safe? I go day in and day out. Day in and day out. All through the day and all through the midnight hours sometimes. I'll go before Him and say, God, keep them. Protect them. Come on. Shield them. Come on. Deliver them. Yeah. Save them. Put a hedge of protection around them. Yeah. We've got to be persistent Come on, now. in our prayers. Yeah. And when that prayer is answered, don't give up. Start praying a different way. Yeah. God, guide them. God, direct yeah. them. God, on, lead now. them. God, let them grow in you. Yeah. We have to be persistent in our walk, in our prayers to God on behalf of other people. Come on. And also on behalf of ourselves. But you've got to be persistent. Come on, man. Too many times people are wanting everybody else to pray for them and they will not pray for themselves. Come on, man. They want everybody else to pray for their loved ones and they won't pray for them themselves. They want everybody else to seek God and fast and pray. Fast and pray. And they won't do it themselves. Come on, man. We must be persistent Come on. in our prayer life with God. Come on, man. You've got to be persistent. You cannot give up. It's not time to be slack. It's not time to be lazy. Come on. It's not time to be slothful. It's time to get serious with the work of God. Come on, Persistent in your prayer. Yeah. Persistent in your way. Amen. Glory to God. I love it. 
Come on. Verse 6 through 8. This is what he says. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust saith. Pay attention. He said, I want you to pay attention to what he said. Pay attention to this, what this judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? Wow. Come on. Though he bear long with them. Wow. I tell Amen. you that he will avenge them speedily. Amen. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Come on, now. Wow. So we're going to break this down if you don't mind. Go ahead. This is the point of the parable. If, <coughs> if such methods as the widow used would get results from an infidel of utter selfishness <coughs> and unconcern for the needs and the rights of others, how much more? Can children of God get results in prayer Come on. the same methods? Come That's on. why he gave this parable. He gave this parable so we could see how this widow, little widow lady kept going back and forth to the judge. God is our Father. Yes. And we can keep going back to Him yes. over and over and over yes. again. Come on, he sir. never gets tired of hearing you. He never gets tired of hearing you. Come to Him with your needs and come with Him with your request and come with Him also with your praise and glorifying Him and honoring Him. And when He does something for you, don't forget to thank yeah, Him. Yeah, come on now. Don't forget to thank Him and praise Him for every time He's answered a prayer of yeah, never need. Yeah. Don't forget to give Him the glory. Yeah. Come on. Because He's worthy of it. It's because of His mighty hand that you got that yeah. prayer answered. Yeah. For they need that. Don't forget to <laughs> praise Him for that. Don't forget to thank Him for that. Yeah, he is a loving God. Come on now. In John chapter 6, 37, this is what he says. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. Yes, yes. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. Yes, he on, will man. never tell you he's too busy to hear right. you. He will never say, well, you spoke that same word yesterday. No. He will no. never say that. No, he, he will welcome you in yeah. and he right. will not push you aside. No, he, he wants to hear from you. Yes. He longs to hear from you. Because can I tell you, unless you speak a prayer, he can't do anything with it. Come on. You've got to speak it. Yeah. You've got to ask. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall knock and it shall be open. Come on now. In Hebrews 4 verse 16, this is what he says. Let us therefore come boldly oh. to the throne of grace. Both. That we may obtain mercy and find I'm grace to help in the time of need. Come on. We have the right to come boldly <laughs> yes, before we do. the King of kings yeah. and, and the Lord of the Lord. Come on now. And bring him every care and every need. Yeah. No matter what the occasion, yeah. no matter what the situation, yeah. no matter the circumstance. Yeah. He said I could come boldly before yeah. his throne. And lay it down at his feet. And he's going to give me what I have need of in that day and in that hour. Glory to God. We have that right. We have that privilege. He made that way for us. Come on, man. He made that way. Glory to God. A prime example of persistent prayer. You can see in the book of Daniel, and I love it. Oh, yes. You can see. There are times when people yes. really cried out to God and God heard them. And David was a man of prayer. Come yes. on. David Pray would God. cry out to God. Yes. And can I share this with you before I go on? It's okay if you come to God and say, I am so mad. I am so angry. I am so upset. Yes. I'm so discouraged. You can bear your heart to him. He already sees it. Yes. There's been times I've been driving down the road and I said, I'm mad. I am so mad that has made me mad. You're going to have to help me. Amen. Come on. Get over this anger. <laughs> Get over this frustration. You're going to have to help Come on, me. Now. Because I'm mad. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. 
and I can go down the road and I can say, God, I'm so broken. I'm broken. Amen. And then he'll come in. Yes, he, will. he wants to hear you say that. Yes. It's okay. Come it's on. okay to be mad. Just don't go wild with it. It's okay. We're human. But if you do go overboard, know that you have an advocate. Amen. Yeah. 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 No, because we've all been there. Yeah. If you tell me you've not been there, I'm going to be like one of those things. You're going to, you're going to be a fried critter because you just lied because we've all been there. Yes. And we all have to say, I'm sorry, please yes. forgive me. Amen. Come on. Amen. But it's okay to do that. It's okay to talk to him because he already knows. Yeah. Come on. And if you open your mouth and speak it, it helps. Amen. But in Daniel 9, verse 3, this is what he says. Come on. And I set my face unto the Lord God to yes. seek by yes. prayer and yes. supplications yes. with fasting and sackcloth yes. and ashes. Yes. Daniel went before the Lord yes. with his petition. Yes. And I, I encourage you to go and read this whole chapter. I have, I told Steve, this, all, these two chapters are just a, a message in itself. And But he set his face to seek the Lord. He Amen. set his face with prayer and supplications and fastings and sackcloth and ashes. And in chapter 10, verse 12, Woo. this is what he says. And I love this. In verse 2, also of Daniel 2, he said, You will see that Daniel was mourning three full weeks. He went before the Lord three weeks yes. before he ever got his answer. And some of us went longer than that, but we'll get our answer someday. Yeah. Amen. He will answer us. He will move. But he said, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. <coughs> that was now toasting us going to preach all oh, these days. It's going to preach. I am come. He said, I heard your words. First time you spoke them, first I heard time. it. Mm -hmm. And I've come because of thy words. Yes. Oh, don't you want that? I want that. Me too. I oh. want to be able to yes. pray to where yes. he comes for my words. Yes, amen. For the words that I have spoken. Yes. Come on. From my heart to God's heart. He heard his heart. Yes. He told come him, on. he said, I heard you when you set your heart to understand. To Verse understand what out. was happening, what was going on. <laughs> he said, I heard you. And he said, I've come for thy words. Oh, for your word, for his words, he came. Yes. God will move yes. for you when you speak words of truth. Come on. And when you cry out to him with everything that's within you. Come on. God is going to come. And He is going to give you that answer that you need. Right. He's going to move on your behalf. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I would like to end with these scriptures. And this is the same thing, except it's from the Amplified Bible. And it just speaks it so, so plainly. Then the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust says. And will not our just God defend and avenge his elect, his chosen ones, who cry out to him day and night? Yes. Will he delay in providing justice on their behalf? Yes. I tell you that he will defend and avenge them quickly. Yes. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find this kind of persistence faith on the earth? Wow. Will he find this kind of persistent faith on the earth when he returns? That he's speaking here in this, in these scriptures, in these verses. This persistent crying out and not giving up and not letting go. Will he find this kind? Because see, when you cry out to God, you've got to cry out to him with faith. Amen. And faith believing and knowing. That he's listening. That he is hearing you. Is he going to find this kind of persistent faith in us? 
when he comes back or when he calls us home? Are we still going to be persistent in our prayer time and calling out to him and, and seeking his face and crying out and not giving up and not giving in and not getting discouraged and say, he's not answering, so I'm just going to quit praying Come and on. back up? I don't know Come about on. you, but I want that persistence in my yeah. life. Come on. I've been asking God. I don't know about you, but I asked him. I said, God, teach me how to pray. <laughs> teach me how to pray. I want to get answers. I want to see. Yes. I want to understand. Yes. I want to grasp. Yes. And I want to know how to pray. You've got to know how to pray right. Yeah. You've got to have a right motive when you pray. Amen. We've got to know how to get a hold of God. Come on. And be persistent in our prayer time. Yes. And in our walk with Christ. Like I said, this is this is not a game. Right. This is life. Yes. You're, you're dealing with life and death. Yes. Come on. I want life. And Amen. I want to share life. Amen. Prayer is so important yes. in our life. And we slack up on it so much. And we don't need to. Come on. We need to increase it. Yes. We need to increase our time with God. Amen. Come on. You know, I don't know about you, but there's times... I don't want to come out of my room. I just want to pray. I come just want to meditate upon God. I just want to hear what he's saying to me. Yes, yes, amen. And I want to cry out until he gives me my answer. Amen. And my answer, I'm looking from him. I don't, I'm not saying that God does not use people to give you a word of encouragement. Thank God for that. But I would rather hear Amen. Oh, yes. in the throne yes. room of Amen. God. Yes. I want to hear Amen. from the throne room of God and know that God has spoken to me yes. and has given me instructions and has given me guidance and telling me where yes. I need to go and yes. what I need yes. to do and what I don't need to do. Yes. I want to hear from Him. Amen. Amen. Because He's the one that holds my life. Yes. Come on now. I love you. I love you with all of my heart. I love everyone here, but you don't hold my life. Come on, man. He holds my life. I'm going to do everything that lies within my power to please him. And I want to hear from him. And I love it. Like I said, I love it when people give you a word of encouragement because we need it. We need that. Come on. But don't count on that. Come on. Don't look for that all the time. If Come you're on. always going looking for an answer from man, you're looking for the wrong Come on. Yes. We need to cry out to God and we yes. need to be Amen. faithful and we don't need to lose heart. We Amen. need to hang on yes. to the mighty unchanging Amen. hand of God. Yes. Oh, there's treasure in here. Yes. This is full of treasure. Yes. Come on. This is a treasure chest. Do you realize that? Come on. Every time you open it up, you can receive a treasure yes. out of here. Yes. And guess what? It never goes empty. Amen. It never is empty. It's always full. Come on. It's always full. Amen. He is God. Yes. Yes. Beside Him, there's not a. I don't want to lean on nobody else but Him. Amen. 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 I just love sharing the word of the living God. There's nothing that makes me more happier, nothing that uh, fills me more. It's my passion. Come on. Just, whoo, to just to share Jesus. Amen. And I pray you receive something tonight from the Word of God. Amen. From His words. Amen. It's not mine. I'm just a vessel that He uses. Come on. I speak it plain because that's who I am. Come on. I am who God's made me. Amen. And I'm thankful that He made me the way He has. Come on. Given me the opportunity yes. to lift His name on high. I love that song. Go tell the world about me. Come on. I'm going to tell the world about Jesus. Amen. About my Savior. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you for allowing me to share. Brother Sam, I Thank believe. You. Thank you, God.
prayer. Let me ask you a question. Did you enjoy that tonight? Amen. Where's your prayer life? Think about that. Where's your prayer life? Stand with me. First of all, we're going to pray for those out there watching. Everybody, we must pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word. God, we ask you, Lord God, that this word goes out. God, across this airway, God, and it would move, touch the hearts and the minds of the people. God, wake them up, God. Lord, for it's everlasting too late, because God, we give you praise. We give you all hallelujah, God. We give you glory, Lord. Oh, God, because without you, we're nothing. Father God, I thank you, and I praise you for your blessings, Father. God, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget all the Saturday's food pantry day. May God bless you. We'll see you Sunday.